This is the plaintiff, Stanley Mendonza. He says his neighbor, the defendant, intentionally scratched his car because she didn't like him parking it on the street in front of her house. He has video surveillance footage catching her in the act, and his car has $4,171 worth of damage to the paint. And he's suing his horrid neighbor for exactly that. This is the defendant, Shabelli Gonzalez. She says she's had problems with the plaintiff since he moved in because he thinks the parking spot in front of his house on the street is his and only his. To antagonize the situation, he also parks one of his four cars in front of her house, and he thinks she scratched it. But he has no proof of that because she didn't do it. He has a video of her walking by his car, but it's a free country. She can walk wherever she darn well pleases. She's accused of getting into it with a neighbor. All parties, please use your right hand. Do you see it? Come to order, please. Litigants have been torn, Yana. Thank you, Douglas. Welcome, All right, Mr. Mendonza. Yes. You live across the street from Chabeli yes. Gonzalez. Yes. How long have you two lived across the street from each other? I moved in in 2010. OK, in how's May. it been going? It has been uh, just, uh, I know the mother, she said hi, bye, and that's it. Uh, and, uh, you know, we've had issues with uh, the daughter, mainly due to parking. Uh, Tell me about problems. the issues with the daughter due to parking. Yeah, so uh, what she's, she does. She, when yeah. you say the daughter, she's the daughter? Shamil, yeah. Okay, and is your mother here? No. How old are you? 24. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so go ahead, talk to me. Yeah, so um, she's had issues like, you know, what she does is uh, in front of our house, that's the street parking, uh, there is two, uh, two uh, spots. So usually she parks on the uh, neighbor on the left in front of their house. But at times, she tries to uh, take the space in front of two, you know, in front of my house, which is for two cars, right? So I, f I went over, I mean, the, uh, the next day, and I told her, like, you know, either you, you, know, you park front or you park back. I have, park I have front or park back, meaning in, in leave room for two leave, cars to correct, park. Just don't absolutely. park in the center of it. Don't park in the center, yeah. right. Well, that she, sounds reasonable. Why is that a problem? I, well, that, I don't have that car right now, but I would park in, in, a, in a rush, like, it wasn't right, intentionally. That's kind of rude. In I, I mean, you're all neighbors. <clears throat> it's all street parking. It belongs to everybody. Doesn't belong to you. Doesn't belong to him. Mm -hmm. Belongs to everybody. So don't park in the middle. But anyway, so that's your complaint. Uh, you say you parked in a rush, and then what happens? Okay. So on the day of uh, you know on uh, February second, at uh, at 9:30, I uh, you know I drove to Millennium Honda. I, I wanted a, you know there was a scheduled oil change. So then I I drove back and you know I parked my car. In front of her, you know, the street so park in front of her house. So I have a question. Why? How, how come? Just why did why did you park your car? Because of uh, temporary. I wanted to go to, uh, you know, we we are doing. But that's oil. farther from your house, so. No, not farther. Just across. Yes. So and, and that's far. That's twelve feet farther from your front door. So I'm curious. Yeah. Why did you do that? I mean, I should have. I, I, if I knew this was going to happen, I oh would have. Oh my gosh! I'm, no. But then, but so there's absolutely no reason why you chose to park further away from your house. None. Zero. So I know what I'll do. I could park there, which would be close to my house, but I'm going to park here instead. All right, then what ends up happening? Yeah, then uh, what happens is I went to home, and my wife is doing some cleanup work uh, at home. And so I was waiting for her to complete. And, uh, you know, she, once she's done, I said, then we'll head out. We'll go out. I never knew that they would come back too fast. But at around 8, 11, uh, 17, my wife, she told me, that, uh, you know, the neighbor's car arrived because she kept the trash out. She saw it and she said, you know. The neighbor's you, what? She saw what? She saw the neighbor's vehicle arrive. Uh, that's, uh, the neighbor's the sister, what? Uh, the sister arrive uh, in a vehicle uh, in front of the house and saw that the, her spot was taken, but you know, the street That's parking. not her spot, but go ahead. Right, but he, she, uh, he, she saw it. and then What's she, the sister's name? Jocelyn. Is Jocelyn here? That's not my name. That's oh. the mother. That's my mother's That's name. your mother, okay. I was told that they, she has two, da uh, two daughters. One is Jocelyn and one is uh, Shabeli. The mother, the, her What's, uh, You're her. the only sister? Yeah, but What's I, your name? Jolene. Jolene. Maybe Jolene. Okay, okay Jolene. So go ahead. You see okay. Jolene come? Yes, I saw Jolene And then uh, you arrive. see Jolene realize she can't park there. Park there, so she parks on the, in the front of my vehicle, on okay. the, in front of my house. That's the, uh, she took uh -huh. that spot. And then it, at 11.17, and then I was up, uh, upstairs in the upstairs window, 
and I'm, and, and I'm looking at them, and she comes out sneaking into, into the car. Which one? Shabeli is making her way to the car, to my to vehicle. To what car? My, to my okay. vehicle, the Honda Pilot. Okay. And uh, her sister, Jolene, and her partner are with, they're carrying one child, and uh, with, with their hands are full. And they're, they're walking to their vehicle, which is parked on my side of the street, okay. the, in front. Okay. And, uh, and, and she took about five seconds before she came out. We could see her Who hair. Who did? Uh, Shabeli. Took came five up to the, seconds before she came out of where? Out of the, uh, out of the back of my, uh, out of the right side of my vehicle, into the footpath area, into the, uh, what do you call it, into the paved area. Five seconds? Yeah, almost five to seven seconds. Five to seven yeah, seconds. seconds. Okay. Yeah. So that she made her way out, and yeah, then and you then worried she, that she had done something to your car. Yes. So they get into, does she leave? Does Shabeli leave she, with them? She walked with them inside. When do you go to your car? I go about five minutes later. And when you go to your car, what do you see? Yeah, I saw a scratch. Okay, do you yeah. have a picture of the scratch? Yes, I do. Oh, oh good Lord. Now that is a good old fashioned car keying. Both doors and the back. What's going on? Well, he claims First, he's been harassing us, me and my family, since he moved here, about the parking spot. Okay, and then did it ever get nasty between you guys? Yes, he verbally cursed me and my boyfriend at the time. He also called her sorry for cursing. That's right. And said inappropriate statements to her partner as well. Okay, like what? So there was an incident like a day after the whole, um, yeah, the day after my mom is selling the home. The day after what? The day after the incident. On after Feb this? Yeah, after okay. the incident, the 3rd, February 3rd. Um, mind you, I don't have a car, so I don't know what car he's being called. He's what car were you about. walking into? I saw a video of you walking into yeah, a car. Yeah, it was a lift, uh, lift car because okay. I, I didn't have my car at the okay. time. So I was walking So if my I kids. see that car parked in front of his house, who would have parked it there, the lift driver? They didn't park. They just pulled over to the side. Okay. So I have two kids. I have a two-year-old and a 10-year-old. Okay. So she was holding my son to, um, in the back. What do you we, mean she was holding my son? When the whole set in, no, I'm just correcting what he had mentioned earlier. I'm sorry, I'm just jumping. Okay, into that's that. after whatever happens to the car. Oh, okay. So I was walking, my mom was selling, um, had- Tell um, me about the discussions that are open. taking place between you guys when you walk out of the house. I wasn't talking about anything. We were walking to the house. She was holding my, my older son. My older son doesn't know how to tie his shoes. She had been down to tie his shoes. I was in a hurry. I had the stroller. My partner had the baby. She was holding Are my Are you trying son. to explain why she's on tape behind the car? Huh? And yeah. She had bent down. Yeah. Tell me about that. You tell me. I came out. I came out the house. She had the baby. Your 10-year-old doesn't know how to tie his shoes? Yes. Okay. He's delayed. Okay. He has an IEP. Okay. So she had her hands full. They were bringing the baby into the car. I was holding my nephew by his hands. And obviously, you don't want a child to be walking with his shoes untied. So I bent over. Sorry, it had to have been in the wrong place in the wrong timing that I bent over to tie his shoes. And I walked Jaden, my nephew, to the lift car and walked back inside. So the reason that you're right by the keying that spans two doors and the back is that you were tying shoes? Correct. And that car was already keyed? I wasn't paying yeah. attention to his car. So I don't know if the scratch was there How before. long were you bent down? Like five seconds. I don't, I don't really count how, I'm sorry. As you tie your shoes. You have some video because you have cameras in your house. Have you always had cameras in your house? I installed them uh, when I did the roofing and siding in 2017, January. In Let me ask you a question. This is 11, 18, correct, correct. and 48 That's, seconds. Correct. That's when she If I want to see 11, 18, and 30 seconds forward, where are they? Forward? I want 11, 18, and 30 seconds, and 31, 32, 33, 34. That's what I want. Do um, you have a wave to show that to me? Or maybe... Let's just say 10 seconds earlier from 11, 18, 38, because this starts at 48 seconds. Correct, yeah. I have it right today. I can do it, but not that day. That day I didn't have it, no. I, I only had it because she, he, they triggered it. They triggered uh, the motion sensor from the road uh, because I don't want to ca capture right, bushes. Did this enough. exist and you decided to give no, me no. the... 
No. No. According no. to you, it doesn't exist. It doesn't exist only because it was Because it motion, doesn't continuously it was, tape. No, it's not continuous. It's motion sensor driven. All right. Let's, let's look back here. So I know who the two-year-old is, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> and who's holding the hand of the two-year-old? You? Me. Okay. And who's in front of you? My partner. Okay. And uh, I see a little kid about 10, and he's way back. See him? Yeah. Okay. My pictures. I don't see anybody tying any kid's shoes. Okay. The person in the gray is you, sweetheart, right? Chabelli, you're the person in the gray coming out from behind his car. Would you like me to play it again? Would you like to get closer? Come on closer. Come on, Chabelli, come on over here. Show, show her what we're looking at. Welcome back to the People's Court. Harvey Levin here. So, what can you do to stop a neighborhood war if you're involved in it? You always introduce yourself. Most people are welcome to the neighborhood if you've been there before. Uh, the person moving in. That's fair enough, but you're already in and it is a mess. What can you do to stop it? Just to go next door and say. Maybe trying to find a compromise and figure out what each person could give or take. Okay, those are good suggestions. I got one more. We're gonna go inside the courtroom before. Okay, I'm gonna go back. Who are those players? Point out who is who. Jolene, Gigi, and the two year old. Okay, and where's the 10 year old we're talking about? That's right, honey. Right? Now I'm going to let go, so keep watching. There's you coming out from behind the car, walking right past a kid whose shoelaces you were not tying. See, if you would have had the 10 seconds from before, you would have seen it. Talk okay, let's, on. hold on, slow your roll. Stay right where you are. Okay, let's see that. Let's see where that 10-year-old is. If the 10-year-old is in the middle of the walkway, closer to the door, then you wouldn't be tying his shoes in that prior 10 seconds because he's coming out of the house. He's nowhere by the side of the door, you see? So that can't be. If I had those prior 10 seconds, I'd have more video. But how would I have you tying his shoes you, unless you have like really long arms and they reach about 10 or 12 feet and then they're tying his shoes when he's closer to the house. See, the boy you're talking about whose shoelaces you were tying in an effort to explain to me why you're bending down, that boy is nowhere near you. There you are passing right by him, and you keep walking. And that kid was coming from the house. He was not behind the car. You know what happened? Let me tell you what happened. You got greedy, and you had to explain why you were bending down. Had you even seen this video? You assumed we'd have you in the video bending down. And so in your effort to explain why you're bending down, you made up a complete lie, and I caught you in the lie. What do you think that does to my faith in whether or not you keyed the, the car? You're the person with the motive. You're the person who's angry with him. You're the person who's had a hundred problems with him. And then you're the person coming out from right behind the car. And then you helpfully add that you were on, you were, you were bending down and the only reason for that was because you were tying a kid's shoes and that's a complete fabrication because the kid was nowhere near you. You both know that she keyed that car. Mm -hmm. You have three estimates for the repair. You're asking for $3,171 for this uh, keying of the car, $500, yeah. which you have the estimate for for the rental, rental. for the repair, yeah. right. and $500 for emotional distress, and yeah. I'm granting it. $4,171, verdict for the plaintiff. Thank you, Your Honor. Ridiculous. Well, the plaintiff gets $4,171. What do you think about what just happened? I did not key his car and he does not deserve those $4,000, absolutely not. And had I had cameras in front of my house, he would not get that money at all, absolutely not. What were you doing behind the car? You weren't tying child's shoes. I what were you doing? That was like in February 2nd. No, but what were you doing? Probably fixing my own shoes. Well, look, the judge found you guilty, my dear. I'm sorry, but you owe him $4,100, okay? Thank you very much. You're welcome. That was very interesting. <laughs> had you seen that? Was that? Yes. You I had seen it. it. Yeah, I'd seen it. You I knew was, what was I, I knew it, yeah. Yeah. But they were trying to concoct stories. Uh, justice has been served. I, 
you know, um, I, because, you know, I cannot, I didn't have a camera on the other side. Probably that would have helped much. Yeah, the question is, what happens now? <laughs> They're still there. Yeah, yeah. The house is for sale, Oh, right? yeah, it's for sale, thank God. I hope they move out soon. Well, good luck to you. <laughs> thank okay. you so much. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay, thank you. good piece of detective work. All right. Harvey, how about that evidence? Cool, huh? You know, Doug, I think what happens when people fight is they forget what they started fighting about. And if you go next door and you say, look, I don't want to make your life miserable anymore, and I certainly don't want you to do it to me. Can we sit down and talk? I'm willing to compromise. It is amazing how that works. And that'll do it for this case. Litigants, for the next case on the way into the courtroom, right now.